Yo, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to stabilize naked Blackmagic footage using Gyroflow. There's been a lot of updates since my last video and it's a little bit outdated. The whole process has got a lot simpler and uh, it's all working a lot more uh, efficiently. And since making that video, I have found some new methods of uh, applying the stabilization that really speed up the whole process and streamline it and maybe more importantly make it a lot easier for when you come to pass the footage off to your clients um, so yeah we're gonna go over all the steps you need to take to stabilize your footage like a pro let's get into it okay so first up gonna install uh, Gyroflow standalone software and the Gyroflow OpenFX plugin for DaVinci Resolve. So head over to GitHub to the Gyroflow page. This is where you'll find all the details on what it can do and what gyros are supported. You'll also find uh, installation instructions here. Um, so depending on what operating system you're using, you're going to want to follow these instructions really simple for Windows you literally go to the release page here by clicking releases download the latest release for the version you want to use so for Windows you just download that and you're just going to be unzipping that into uh, where you want it where you want to run it from it just runs from within its own folder now you're going to want to head over to the Gyroflow OpenFX plugin page on GitHub and you can see the installation instructions here. Very, very easy. For Windows, you're just going to be unzipping uh, the, the download into this folder and if it doesn't exist, you just need to create this folder. And then the plugin will just load when you open up DaVinci Resolve. So now we're just going to load up the Gyroflow software, but unlike before, the gyro data is already synced to the footage. So we no longer need to use any of the auto sync functions which that uses all the optical flow with the gyro data to line it up nicely. It's already done out of the box, so it makes stabilizing the B-roll footage much, much quicker and easier than ever before. Um, so what we're going to be doing in Gyroflow, rather than stabilizing each clip individually, we're just going to create a set of preset Gyroflow files that we can then later use and just load them into DaVinci Resolve and stabilize the footage directly in DaVinci Resolve without ever having to open the standalone software again. This is a really good feature that the Gyroflow team has brought to us. Now to create these Gyroflow preset files, we're gonna be using the standalone software. So go ahead and open up the Gyroflow standalone software and you will be greeted with a page like this. So I've already got uh, B-roll files already made from previous flights. Um, you're just going to take one of your B-roll files and drop it into Gyroflow. And obviously Gyroflow will expect this to be a standard Blackmagic, but because uh, I'm using a naked Blackmagic, I'm going to have to change the IMU orientation to ZYX. And we're going to be putting in a pitch angle of varying degrees. This is going to come down to how you use your Naked Black Magic. Um, if you're flying at every single conceivable angle, you're going to want to make a file from minus 20 all the way up to plus 40 degrees or whatever your Naked Black Magic can do. Um, personally, I usually only fly 10, 15, and 20 degrees. I'm going to start with a pitch angle of 10 degrees doesn't matter if your footage was filmed at 10 degrees, 15, 20 or whatever. We're just uh, using the B-roll file to load in the default settings and then tweaking them to suit the naked black magic. So the pitch of 10 degrees added there. Uh, we're also going to need to add a lens profile. For me, I'm using the 7.5 layer. And if you type 7, 
this preset this lens profile pops up for you to use um, yeah this matches exactly what I'm using 7.5 layer at 4k DCI so now that we've got the lens profile set and our rotation and IMU orientation set we can go ahead and export the preset so click on this little arrow ex export and hit create settings preset when you could turn off some of these but I just leave all of them on and then just put name it then just name your file accordingly this one's for 10 degrees you can see I've already got my files saved in there um, and simply all you have to do is change this to 15 degrees and save that go in and do one for 20 degrees so on and so forth until you've created all the pro all the preset files you're going to need for um, however you use your naked black magic so it's really as simple as that for creating the set of preset files um, and now we can simply close the standalone software and not really need to use it again. The only time you might need to use the standalone software again is if you've got slightly bad gyro data files and you're finding that it's just not stabilizing properly. You might need to go in and uh, look at the gyro traces and see what's causing an issue. Um, but other than that, now we can do everything from within DaVinci Resolve and using the OpenFX plugin. Okay, so now I've loaded up uh, DaVinci Resolve and we've just got a fresh new project loaded up here. And the first thing we're going to need to do is s change our project settings. So you're going to want to change this to 4096 by 2160 so that it changes to 4K DCI. I shot mine at 30 FPS, so you change that as well hit save then you can take any of your black magic files um, drag them into DaVinci Resolve put them down onto your timeline now so long as you've installed the plugin correctly and it's loaded up when you go into the open FX tab scroll down to the bottom you should see gyro flow there and you simply drag that over and drop it onto your video clip. Then going up here to the right, top right, you hit effects and you'll see all the gyro flow settings in there. First thing you're going to need to do is hit load for current file. That's going to t find the gyro data that's within the B-RAW file. Next up, we're going to click this load preset slash lens profile and you're going to go and find where you saved your presets. So hopefully you've got them in a nicer place than me. And this was filmed at 15 degrees. So I'm just going to choose this 15 degree file and you'll see that the image changes slightly there. That's a, and it also says OK here. So if you skip into it a bit, you'll see that by turning it off, it's cropping in and out. That actually looks like quite a lot of crop. So sometimes you'll find that it doesn't quite do it properly and you'll just want to click this reload project. And you'll see it's still cropping and stabilizing, but it's not doing anything weird. See here I've actually got my smoothness set to 0.1. Default is 0.5, so I think it was just uh, using that. Generally speaking, you don't need as much as 0.5. So even still after loading in the preset, you can see that there's still got these um, all the settings that you can change. You can't change the IMU rotation, uh, IMU orientation and you can't change the rotation within here at the moment maybe he'll add that at a later date but really 
you don't need it if you're just going to save a few preset files. Most people fly at the same angles all the time. Um, and you should as well because that's how you're going to get more comfortable with flying the craft if you keep it at the same sort of angle all the time. Um, that's kind of a different subject. Uh, but yeah, the, the improvements that they've made in the plugin now for the for DaVinci Resolve are awesome. You may have seen my previous video on stabilizing gyro flow, uh, stabilizing B-roll footage in gyro flow, but and you'll you might remember that um, changing any color settings or editing the clip in any way after applying the gyro flow effect, it would cause like huge delays. That's all a thing of a past now. You can apply the gyro flow clip uh, effect now load in your, your pre preset and you can make all the changes you want and there's hardly any lag at all. Uh, let me show you that now. I can just go into the color tab and do some really basic color correction. So if I just whack on a load of contrast, maybe a little bit of color boost. If I full screen this, you'll see that the clip is actually all nice and stabilized. Instantly plays, there's no lag or anything. Now if I, just to show you how much it's working, you can go in and turn off the gyro flow clip. See, it just there's the odd little wobble here and there. Um, it's a pretty windy day, and yeah, I'm just messing about doing flips and rolls and stuff. So it's obviously little bobbles and stuff. And you can see how much it actually crops in. It's not a huge amount. It's well, it is quite a lot. You can change this by adding less stabilizations. It really comes down to the footage. Crap in, crap out. So if your footage is all super shaky, it's, it was a really windy day, and you're being really rough on the sticks, and you want super, super smooth, no roughness footage coming out, it's gonna be cropping a lot more. If you put in footage where it's filmed on a calmer day, uh, you're not being as aggressive, you're a better pilot, you're really smooth on the sticks, you're hardly going to need any stabilization applied at all. So really, that's the greatest thing about the gyro flow. There's, there's a lot of tweakability, if you will. Um, depending on what footage you put in, you can get an awful lot out of it. It's got horizon lock, it's got all these different settings that make it a really, really powerful tool. Um, and yeah, you might be able to get footage that doesn't really need any stabilization, but trust me, there will be little bobbles and stuff in there. Um, and gyro flow can just take the edge off. It just, just finishes it off nicely. It doesn't stop there. You don't just have to, you can't, you don't just have to do one clip at a time within Resolve. You can learn you can load up a bunch of clips with a bunch of different presets and it will apply the gyro flow stabilization to all of them. I'm going to drop in some footage now filmed on um, my Cinewarp. That one. So this was filmed on completely different quad at a different location and you just add your gyro flow file load for current file then you choose your preset um, pretty sure this was 15 again and it's applied that and then just so that it's a little bit easier to look at
we've now got perfectly stabilized buttery smooth footage um, as simple as that there's no more no more using the auto sync optical flow stuff or anything like that um, this is still obviously really overexposed <laughs> So you can see just how quickly and easy it is now to stabilize footage and then of course using Resolve to output ProRes or any other file format you want it's going to be a lot faster than using the GyroFlow standalone software um, because it's all optimized for rendering video and as good as the GyroFlow software is um, it's never going to be as good as uh, DaVinci Resolve is uh, exporting files and you can see it's a little bit jittery um, it could be at 10 degrees or something I'm not 100% sure this is where you're gonna have to be looking at it uh, a bit more closely making sure you record what angle you you are at you can see the same go back to here you can see it was actually quite bobbly. It was a windy day, I'm right in the middle of nowhere, nothing blocking, and I'm on a tiny, I'm flying a little tiny cinewhop right in the open. Um, yeah, so quite shaky really. And you can see just how good the stabilization is. Okay, so if you're going to be passing this footage on to someone else, like your client, um, you could show them how to install the plugin, send them your preset files and say file 1 is at 15 degrees, file 2 is at 20 degrees, so apply this file to that and you can get them to do everything that I've just done within Resolve and they can stabilize it that way. But there's an even easier way that they've come up with um, that I think is probably going to be the best way for people who are passing off footage. So once you've applied your preset files to each of your clips, you could do them individually or drag all your footage into one project file and apply all the stabilization presets to each of the, pro each of the video clips. Check that they're all working. Um, so basically what I have just shown you, um, but with a little bit more finesse <laughs> you wouldn't need to worry about how good the color grade is or anything you could turn go reset all that so that it's all default you got full access to all the b-raw control so you can change all the iso the white balance etc etc for each of the clips where you went in and applied the the preset you're going to want to scroll down and click this button here embed dot gyro flow data in plugin so as you hover over this you can see here if you intend to share this project to somewhere else the plugin can embed the gyro flow project data including gyro data inside the video editor project this way you don't have to share dot gyro flow project files enabling this option blah 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 so you're going to want to enable that on each of the clips that you've applied um, the gyro flow stabilization to <laughs> okay so make sure you've got gyro flow turned on and then you'll be able to click this so on each of your clips go through and make sure you've got embed dot gyro flow data in plugin now when you save your davinci resolve file so client file uh, client project whatever you're gonna you can come up with a name with your client okay so now all you're gonna have to send them is the b-raw files so uh, the actual video clips and the DaVinci Resolve project file uh, you're gonna have to have a look on look where that's saved uh, on your PC 
but you'll be able to copy that off and send them the project file along with the b-raw files then when they load up DaVinci Resolve they can load up your project file point DaVinci Resolve to the location of the video clips and as long as they've got the plugin installed it will automatically apply all of those presets to each of the individual clips with all the settings that you've tweaked and everything so say you've got some at 10 degrees, some at 20, some at 30 degrees you could put all of those clips into one project file apply all your presets to the gyro flow effect so that the stabilization is applied to all of them tweak them tweak the settings so that they all look fine don't bother doing any of the color correction or anything save that project file send the project file and the clips to your client and they'll be able to open it and it'll all be exactly how you left it and you won't need those preset files to be sent so that avoids you having to say file one is with this it was a 15 degrees and so on and so forth so it just makes that whole process a lot simpler for the end user again it comes down to like um, how competent the person is you're sending it to or how willing they are to work with different things at the end of the day if they don't want to even touch some third party plugin you're going to have to just render them out in ProRes or whatever and send them that um, with the stabilization applied uh, so yeah yeah nice and easy really right thanks for watching guys uh, i hope this video has been helpful i know that in the making of it i've learned quite a lot and it's certainly made stabilizing footage a lot easier for me now uh, when i take out my crafts like this i know that every time i'm going to get super juicy footage whether my flying is really bad or the weather's really bad it doesn't really matter um, you can just chuck it into gyro flow and your footage is going to come out nice and smooth so so i look forward to seeing all your super smooth stabilized footage in the future and of course as usual if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one later